Hi guys, my name is Fiaz Ahmed and welcome to my channel and I'm going to help you to write Yupa scripts from basic to advanced level. We will talk about everything and uh, and before we proceed, let me introduce myself. Uh, I started to write script uh, in Pascal language in 2017. Most of my work you can check in the following website, Digital Class from here and in Car Technology, you can find my work. Uh, my famous scripts which I write, it's uh, Denso. So the thing which I want to tell you, uh, it's, it's not easy to make uh, uh, this type of course uh, because it's it's look very easy but when you talk and when you write and then you the stuff it's not that much easy so guys I need your help uh, to identify the things which I must need to improve and and other things which I want from you to tell me the things if you think uh, how long should be one episode and the, the things which you want to know more about Yupa and uh, like if if i'm missing something please tell me in the comments so i can improve that things uh, so let's know started before uh, any further wait and so this is yupa usb programmer 1.15 uh, okay so right now uh, i didn't install any of the script inside that's why uh, if you see the If you the uh, our device directory, this is all the standards, uh, uh, EPROMs and MCUs, okay, which you can uh, choose to read, uh, okay. And uh, if I show you from here, I show the list of install script is empty because I didn't install any of the script inside, okay. So uh, first of all, all the things you know that uh, how we now open the files and uh, other things. Okay, uh, so my most of the uh, mm, the guide will be about uh, how to write scripts. Okay, so, so mostly the script is written. Uh, the write script final version we put it here. So when the software start, it automatically load the script and put it under these all devices okay so uh, we can access the ide so ide mean integrated uh, development environment okay we can choose from here and then from here okay and uh, the good uh, inside the ide uh, there is two language supported okay uh, one is a pascal language which i'm using and i highly recommend you you all uh, do the same uh, and the other is VBA uh, why because in 2017 when I start to write the script and I write, start to learn about uh, the Pascal language I don't even know that like one day I will use this language as my primary language to write other stuff I, I write very big application using the Pascal so means as your interest will grow you will uh, absolutely will learn but the basic things will help you a lot okay so so uh, so this is the tool palette we will use this one okay when we design our form uh, okay which uh, like is a GUI inside a GUI okay and this is uh, inspector it's have properties and events and you will uh, shortly will see what is uh, the use of that one that is the messages and these messages show um, uh, occasional messages and sometimes we put it our own messages here while we executing the scripts okay and from here you can uh, uh, add a new form or new unit form means where you have a form like uh, of this like this exactly what we are using is a form okay and the, the unit means which have code only not any uh, physical or uh, what what i mean is visible uh, form a uh, form which we can use to interact with the software so this is only unit and the, okay so from here new object uh, project and from here we can open and open a project and we can also open project from here okay and uh, 
so let's uh, this is a project okay script studio project and we open project one so uh, this project have two unit okay unit one okay which is responsible to create unit two in a runtime okay and uh, so uh, unit 2 is a farm unit which I was talking about before if you see in unit 1 is only code there is no uh, uh, visible form but in unit you will see there is a code and a design so these are the the form which will be visible visible when we run okay so uh, let, let th these are the but called button this is a open dialog to open a file from the the uh, computer such as bin file okay and these are the this group and other uh, component uh, okay on the farm okay so this form can be big or small as as you like it okay you can do it whatever you want it okay but let's say put it same okay okay so let's say this this is uh, so this this button is uh, what is do this one it's get a byte and then displays here okay so these both are independent component and all the component we can choose from here okay from label everything so okay and the combo box this is called combo box okay so like uh, okay these button have some properties okay uh, properties such as the caption of the button and the size of the button and uh, like it will be visible or width height margin these are type of the things we we do it while we are doing the programming okay and there is many events belong to that buttons and and similarly all component even this form this dialog or this edit box uh, all have events okay so events such as if i press here what should happen if i press on the button what should happen if i leave the button what should happen if i bring my mouse here what should happen so these are the things is called events so one side is property properties such as like uh, as we talk the caption of the button color font um, margin even we can put it image here so and the other things is uh, the events such as here you see that on click event so if if user click on this button so uh, then what thing should happen we write in this method okay button one click method so there is a, a lot of you see mouse over mouse down blah 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 there is a lot of things we can do it okay but mostly we are using like simple like if user click something happen okay if i double click on this one i bring it so this is one uh, one procedure inside procedure there is many variables then we calling the different uh, methods of course we uh, we will start from the the from the from the very basic and we will write this thing and we will compile we will understand how that things is ha working okay so as uh, you see this uh, this uh, they have independent this called global variable this is like usage where we we uh, import our libraries okay so these are all the things we will talk about okay in while we writing the scripts okay so and uh, uh, so this is unit one so this unit is is responsible to create unit two and then um, show as a model when we write it and these are the part will show under the device okay so uh, let's do little things here um, let's say i click on to run the program so okay and uh, what will that happen uh, while we are making a program we run the program 
to see how the program is supposed to work is working as per our expectation or no so it's called debugging okay so part of debugging is to run the software okay and we will go in detail how to debug the program that uh, just bear with me you will learn everything inshallah so uh, so you see the messages here the uh, so this is uh, messages showing that uh, the project executing successfully in 77 millisecond okay so what we will do it we make it little and then we go here and uh, under the device use uh, uh, one minute uh, under the device you see this is a little static it's showing that is the script is currently running from the ide okay this is lesson one and this is the our script if we double click on this one it will bring us this uh, uh, our farm okay so from here we can open uh, any of the bin file okay the dump file which we read it if we have from our friends or we save it which we want to work it and so these uh, everyone know about it okay so this one is hex decimal and um, so this is offset okay so this zero zero mean this is zero zero so as you see and this uh, how this work is zero and then let me close this one and so so if I click here so this is zero uh, you see here pay a little attention here uh, okay so zero then it's go uh, go to next okay so it's one then two three four uh, then like same like six uh, it's eight and then up to nine okay mm, uh, nine then from nine it start a then b c d e f okay so total this is a 16 okay um addresses okay so this is no c f then it's a f and then it's a uh, 10 0 it's which is uh okay equal to 16 so 15 and 16 okay um right oh so 9 plus 5 okay so uh, okay this is 16 so um, mm, here you can find replace and these are the things we do it okay and then if you want to uh, find any string inside uh, let's say if i write anything here and let's say i write uh, zero zero again so these are the things from inside here we read the uh, that's uh, the um, what is called epom and then verify the program then program it back and then blank check these are these are the things we do it so this uh, okay this is uh, 9356 i think uh, that's why this is uh, uh, this is 5112 uh, total memory kb memory here so okay so uh, let's open this one again and uh, uh, let's uh, choose memory okay so we select address so uh, ad address 0 x 10 h selected so it means center line first this one okay so this is currently uh, empty if i click it will bring 0 0 only uh, if i'm right so this is giving the full size of the 5112 size of the eprom okay and it will bring 0 0 so yeah and if i want to set any uh, let's say a number here uh, mostly we write it okay let's say in time of uh, in time of when we're writing uh, uh, a mileage back to the files okay we'll mostly write a number but sometimes we can write like hexadecimal value also okay we want it like, from a to f only okay so but this this uh, t, uh, is called t edit it's currently only allowed to enter a number only if i press any word it will show me unaccepted character so let's say i want it to write let's say one two three four five six so uh, so uh, this this one uh, one two is called one byte and then it's called uh, two byte and it's, it's become a word and then it's uh, let's say zero zero um, so it's except uh, up to uh, three byte so if i set this byte data it will write it here you see here okay 
so this is how this is what we'll uh, read about everything uh, how how to access them uh, the line which line we need to accept and how to write it back how let's say if we all want to write every second byte one, uh, like zero one and every second byte how to run a loop and there is a many type of loop and how to write a if statement these type of things i will uh, try to make it simple and so now we check already our software and now we will uh, go back to our ide so by clicking here the id will uh, come up back and we will stop and okay so one thing i want to show you more uh, is a project manager in a project manager you can see the project and all the units so unit 1 and unit 2 unit 1 is as i told you is only a code file but in unit 2 it's have one uh, form also okay so let's uh, compile this file and see uh, so uh, save compile and then let put it in project one on desktop okay or let's put it in project okay so this is the file which we compile and we need to place it here so will close the program and restart again so as you can see that the script is loading and okay guys so today we will uh, now we'll complete our lesson first lesson and i will request you please uh, share this video with the others your uh, friends and uh, please uh, do subscribe my channel which will help me and it will motivate me to make more video for you thank you so much for watching